Hi, we're going to do the most exciting thing in Mahara from a participant's point of view, which is to create a page. And this will be the page where uh, Kimi Suzuki displays her blog. Now, how do we go about that? It does require just following through a couple of things in sequence, but it's straightforward. Watch carefully. I hover my mouse over portfolio and click on pages. The system has automatically created two pages for me. There's my dashboard page and there's my profile page. I want to leave those alone in the meantime. I want to create a new page. And as soon as I do that, up comes a series of tabs to work through. And we've got to work through one, two, three, four, five. And uh, particularly that last one, sharing the page is all important. So what are we going to call this page? Every page needs a title. And uh, I'm going to call this My Take on the World by Kimi. And uh, every page also needs a description. It's really important to have a description. So uh, um, this will be my journals on life as a parish steward. There we go, and I'll better just correct that little spelling mistake. And all done. I need a title, and I've got to have a description. If I don't have that description, I'll be in trouble. So, save. And look, we've automatically moved from the first tab, Edit Title and Description, to the third tab. There's the title, My Take on the World by Kimmy, and your description of the page will show up there when the page is finally created. So that's why it's so important to have. Next thing that we've got to do is look at the layout. Well, it's automatically taken us to a three column layout. Let's just leave it there and stay with content and then we can come back to the layout. So what I'm going to put by way of content, this is about journals. So this is why journals are so important in Mahara. Journals are blogs. I'm just going to click on journals and uh, four menu items appear. I can either can take in a complete journal, a single journal entry. If I've got multiple journals, I could take in the 10 most recent across three, four, five journals and so on. So how do I get the journal over displayed on the page? Hold my mouse button, left button down, and just pick it up and drag it. Now, where do I want it? Which one of these columns? You see that the yellow block highlights where you can put that as you move it around the page. I'm going to put it there in the first column. And I've got to set now instantly. This little uh, pop-up appears. I've got to set a block title. Um, and so we'll just put, for example, sake, my blog entries and they're the blog of Kimi Suzuki's journal. She's got these other journals but that's the one we're using so maybe it's uh, well there's only five entries per page it says there we've only got three entries rather so let's just um, carry on down Leave this alone. We'll come back when we do a power users demonstration of pages and click save. And there it is. The three uh, journal entries are showing up. And uh, I'm not very convinced by this three column layout, um, particularly in terms of styling. This kind of looks hideous, but we won't worry about that. We're going to have uh, how to look elegant on pages as a separate lesson. But the three column layout will not necessarily translate all that well uh, for readability. So let's click back on edit layout. You can see that there are various options that you can choose. I kind of like for a blog, uh, a two column layout, one with a large column for the blog entries and something else to put in the second column. So I'm going to click that and save. And now you can see that the blocks have moved. Um, if I didn't like my blog entry there, I could pick it up and put it over there, but that would just be taking it back to sort of what it was a bit too narrow. What can I possibly put as a beginner? What can I possibly put here in that second column? Well, have a look at P. 
personal info and we want to pick up profile information so I've picked it up dragged it over to there and uh, I want to show my first name my last name my country and if I've uploaded a profile picture which I think is really important for you to do click on profile picture uh, don't worry about introduction text at this point so save and there we are profile information's come up so am I happy with how it all looks go to the fourth tab display page yes I'm I'm sort of happy though I do admit that the styling is mm, less than good <laughs> let's click edit the page again not to do the styling but to come to the all-important how am I going to share this page who am I going to share this page with well you are wanting to share this with the world but you also want to share it with people here in uh, six senses so you may just want to share it with your friends for example uh, not with every logged in user but if you're sharing it with the public I'd also share it with any logged in user but uh, I'm going to click public because I need to uh, broadcast to the world I can put a start date and an end date if I want just click on the calendar and uh, over to you whether you want to add that extra information and finally it says you a secret URL now that's a really important key step um, so we've got it shared with our friends we've got it shared with the public let's uh, just scroll to the bottom click Save there we are it's all saved and what's come up is the editing of the access well we've just done share with the public share with uh, logged in users or friends whichever we also need to generate what we call a secret URL and by clicking add a URL there it is there and copy that URL now whenever you want to share your page with people all you need to do is email them that link and you can put that out in social media you can put it out in Facebook etc but it's the secret URL it's not the actual URL and that gives a level of protection from spammers and people like that so it's as soon as anyone gets that link they'll be able to log in and see Kimmy's blog and they'll be able to add comments to it if you don't want people to be able to add the comments to that just go back to pages uh, click to edit the pages and share page and click for advanced options and here it's automatically ticked to allow comments if you want to moderate any comments so that they remain private until you've approved them it's a good idea to click that as well if you don't care what people say on your page you'd click neither but I think it is important to allow comments but also for you to have the ability to moderate them and uh, do you want to allow copying of your page maybe not at this point but maybe uh, when we look at power use yes so just click Save all done Kimmy all you've got to do now is uh, spread that URL through email through social media and you are blogging to the world have fun and be creative in your page layout thanks for watching